This is the story of viscosity, or how silica makes volcano shapes. In the example, you see a free-flowing liquid on the left that would be considered low viscosity. On the right side, you have a very thick liquid that's not coming out of that test tube at all that would be considered very high viscosity. So for our purposes, the definition of viscosity would be the same as thickness. When we think of low viscosity materials, we can think of flowing water, or even soda pop. When we think of high viscosity materials, we can think of things like syrup, or in this case, honey, which we know is very, very, very thick. For our discussion, we're concerned about the thickness or viscosity of lava. In lava, there is often this material called silica. Silica is a material that is found in the earth, and when there's a high amount of silica inside that lava, we end up with very thick, thick lava. That's kind of important. Now consider this. If we have a glass of milk, it's very, very easy to blow bubbles into that milk. However, if we have a milkshake, because of its thickness, the gases are trapped, it won't escape very easily, and it's very hard to blow bubbles. A volcano has many, many gases. So when we have a thick lava inside of that volcano, the gases are trapped. That's very much like a balloon getting blown up. So when we have a balloon, it'll grow and grow and grow and grow and grow until boom we end up with an explosion and we have that because the gases were trapped and the pressure got so great that it couldn't hold it anymore we have an explosion so because the gases are trapped we end up with these explosive eruptions we end up with volcanoes that are called cinder cones where the, st where the slopes are very steep because the explosive lava shot straight up and came straight down on the other hand, when we have low silica, we have thin lava, and the gases are allowed to escape. It's kind of like a balloon with a hole in it. The balloon won't fill up, and then we won't get any boom. So with a low silica lava, we end up with quiet eruptions, where the lava flows, and we end up with a different type of volcano called a shield volcano, where the slopes are very shallow and very wide. So in summary, when we have high silica, we have high viscosity, the gases are trapped, and we have explosive eruptions, we end up with cinder cones. When we have low silica, we have low viscosity, the gas escapes, we have quiet lava flows, and we end up with shield volcanoes. So I know I went really fast. Watch it again. Thanks for watching.